what's up y'all so today i will be giving y'all a story time of the time he gave my drink to his homeboy i'ma give you the little story time and then i'ma tell you what i learned right after this happened and what i learned in reflecting on this years later right so i feel like i was like 18 at the time and i'm glad i already did this stupid shit as far Just as riding like around with a dude not really doing nothing like you gotta go through stuff like that and see that as kind of fun at the time to realize years later that it was boring i should have been applying myself i should have been figuring out what i wanted to do in my life but that's what i was doing at that time on my off day you know what i'm saying so i got picked up we was riding around in this extra sketchy vehicle right and don't you know how when you spend a time with a dude and it's nobody around it's more of a vibe than if his friends around even if it's one friend it'd be different in the sense where the dude that you hanging with he'll act different you know he'll act a lot better when y'all alone so i really cherished that time we was just kicking it cool and whatever riding around aimlessly Okay, this this way I went wrong first. We we had parked somewhere and he was on the phone and he was his little friend get together or whatever and he said he was just going to stop and say what's up, grab a cup of whatever, right? And then come back. Man, did he take forever? First of all, I was sitting in the car. It was an extra sketchy vehicle, so I already felt like the vehicle was sticking out like a sore thumb, you know, for police or for whoever, you know. I really had got paranoid at one time because this dude had walked past the car several times. And then after the last time that he walked by, he kind of pointed at the car. I was the only one in the car. And I, I didn't know if he could see me. Like, it was that type of vehicle where I didn't even know if the windows was, like, tinted to that certain degree where you couldn't see in you know what i'm saying um so i was paranoid about that i'm like what is he pointing at like what if he tried to do something to the car i'm in the car type of thing so rule number one ladies don't be riding around with a dude just doing nothing all day because that's what i was doing even if it's your off day that's not fun like do some fun shit Rule number two, don't have no dude leave you nowhere in his car. Because you never know what he into while you at work. You know what I'm saying? You never know why people spotting his vehicle. You never know what's going to happen. And for him to just leave me in the car like that, I was like, oh, he don't give a fuck about me. We was in the heart of Southeast. And if it wasn't my hood... I, I didn't even do that in my hood, but if it wasn't my hood, I'm not doing that shit. Like, it, it's not a comfortable thing. It's not a very comfortable situation. I was like, oh, he don't give a fuck about me, right? So, he come back to the car, and at that point, he come back with his friend. So, he had the cup in his hand, and he offers the cup to me. And it's liquor, you know what I'm saying? So, it was pretty nasty at that point in time. It wasn't nothing like fruity or anything like that. It was like some brown liquor. So, that's that's the type of thing that you sip. I hate when people be trying to drink Hennessy and stuff like it's juice. You're supposed to sip brown liquor and stuff like that. You're not supposed to, like, guzzle that. I don't care what nobody tell you. But, um, so I'm taking sips of it, whatever, and we vibing, and I feel like we was still parked right there when I was vibing with the cup. And I didn't even get tipsy or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't even nothing like that. It was like this much alcohol, so you sipping that. 
Well, I'm sipping that. Like, motherfuckers are probably just down there and then be like, oh, I'm fucked up. Nah. I, you got to keep it classy. Classy, but fancy. Mm, Birkin bag me. So he pull off, and I'm still vibing with the cup, whatever, and we mid-conversation, and the friend in the back, say this the this the passenger, that's the driver's seat, and back there is the motherfucking back seat. You supposed to be all the way back there, but then you poke your head up here past my shoulder. And, like, he looked at the cup, and then he looked at his friend, which was the dude that I was with, and he going to ask him, is she done with that? Is she done with what? I was so confused, like, and then it registered to me what he was talking about. And he was talking about the liquor. Is she done with that? And guess what the dude said that I was with? The dude said, yeah. He literally took the cup from me after he said, yeah, I ain't say shit. Yeah, he took the cup from me and gave it to his friend. Now, see, that's how the COVID, and this was years ago, so the COVID wasn't around, right? But that's how germs spread. And all of this happened so fast that it just instantly made me guff. And I was speechless. I was like, oh my God, I'm around the wrong type of niggas, first of all. And then it was like, oh my God, like I'm, I'm messing with the wrong type of dude. Like th this can't be my life where a dude that I'm messing with got friends like that that's real bummy. That was like a real bummy vibe to me. And I was like, oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm not cool with this. But I kept it cool, okay? I kept it cool. Like, in situations like that, you got to sometimes take shit as a loss and just be guh. And the definition of guh is like when you speechlessly like mad frustrated in awe in shock everything into one that's what guh is okay guh is a dc term okay but i was guh shit i'm not even gonna lie like i was speechless i was floored that he gave my drink away and i mean it was his drink but after you give it to me it's my drink right to me, I feel like I should have made a fuss about it. Like, what you doing? Why you do that? Da, 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 da. But at the same time, like I said, you got to take certain shit as a loss and just understand that you don't really want to associate yourself with people like that. Like, you just got to really evaluate the situation within and then move accordingly. Like, don't hang around them no more. Don't fuck with that type of nigga no more. Don't be seen around them type of dudes no more, you know? It taught me a lot of lessons, and I moved accordingly right after that, you know? I ain't gonna let too many other situations happen where you offering my shit up, you using my shit without asking, you asking for money, shit like that, you know? And it's all in what a woman is going to handle and deal with. I'm not gonna deal with no shit like that, you know? I ain't done with a damn thing. Some girls would just take that and be like, oh, I still like him. Oh, I'm going to still fuck with him. No, that didn't make me feel good. Do you know what I'm saying? Good, so I got to move accordingly. You got to really learn from the shit that happened right after. Learn and move accordingly. So, yeah, that was the story time of the time he gave my drink to his homeboy. Learn from me, okay? I ain't do shit at that point in time, but I moved accordingly right after. And when you, like, don't know what type of nigga you dealing with and you out with them and they got control, like, they got, you can't drive, bitch, or you ain't bring no money out the house for no cab or et cetera, et cetera, and you riding in the passenger, 
move accordingly so you can get home. You know, don't make too much of a fuss about it because the way that I am, if I get mad enough about something, if I feel like you really play with me, I get put out of this car and just walk home. You know what I'm saying? Gladly. That's how pissed off I be, you know? So in order to get home safe and to avoid bullshit like that, sometimes you got to chuck it up as like, all right, let me just let this sink in real quick get home and then move accordingly it's your girl be octavia and that is my story time